So before I move this, before I proceed with my submission, in fact, I would like to please, please on record uh, that I would like to express my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to the Honorable Chief Minister for having pleased to recognize my absence yesterday and did not recognize the absence of his own minister. So we are given 10 minutes in the budget discussion and we are being given 10 minutes in the debate on the governor addressed and we are expected to stay put in one place for more than three hours. I think that is not fair. So, sir, coming to the court motion that we have submitted, we would like to discuss the style and functioning of police department. Sir, it is very sad indeed that the image of the police department is in a very poor light. Remarks from the Honorable High Court every time about the failure of the police department to work or to carry out its work has really been a matter of concern for each one of us. So we fail to understand as to why the police could not see the movement of coal leading trucks and can manage to nap the drugs trafficker. So we would like to know who is responsible for this poor image of the police department. We know that the police department is one of the most important machinery and without the police department, the government cannot maintain law and order. The government cannot regulate traffic movement. The government cannot provide security to its citizens. The government cannot tackle crimes. But sir, the question is, why is the police department is in this present state of affairs, where no one seems to have faith in the police department. The performance, how this department neutralized the militancy in the state when the dreaded HNLC and ANBC were at its peak. So how can we believe that the same police force who can neutralize these dreaded militants in the state and are responsible for bringing back normalcy to the state of Meghalaya will not be able to arrest the former general secretary of the HNLC alive, especially when he was at his sick bed, sir. Sir, according to the observation of the retired Justice T. Vaifei, and in his report submitted and even placed before the House, he observed, sir, that his finding is that the tactical team won in carrying out the operation to arrest the disease at his residence on August 13, 2021, at about 3 a.m., was culpable of thoughtless and excessive use of force, which resulted in the death of the deceased, late Shirister Field. Thank you. Sir, further, he said that in his considered view, the post factor excuse that none but the deceased was hurt can it be a valid justification for carrying out the operation hastily and in a reckless manner by the tactical team one?
So I am sure that if the police department is given a free hand to deal with this specific case, the former general secretary of the HMC would have been caught alive because I have the trust in the police personnel of the state. However, sir, due to the excessive interference on the part of the political master, police personnel are not given a chance to deal with the case independently. Sir, the people of Maulai, the family members of late Shastafi, till today, they are still awaiting for justice. You have tabled the report on the floor of the house. What action has been taken as a following up to the report? I want to be specific in my cut motion. So I would like to therefore ask a clarification from the Honorable Minister in Charge Home. Who is responsible and who gave the order to eliminate Shiris, late Shiris thank, thank you on that day and whether the government will own the responsibility for its failure to arrest late Shirister, Shirister feel thank you alive. And I would also like to know from the Honorable Minister in Charge Home, when will the people of Maulai, when will the family members of late Shirister feel thank you get justice? If only you can produce the documentary proof, nothing like it, sir. But just for the hearsay, for the interest of speaking, I think that is totally wrong. So we don't accept, government does not at, at all accept this kind of statement made by the honorable member that we need to create one more tribe in Meghalaya. Sir, the government has already issued explanation call to the concerned team and number two, now we just received the explanation call just a few weeks back and now the government will examine in detail what is next to be done, what action should be taken. As of now, I cannot say anything on that, sir. But it is not that we want to delay things to happen. But let me assure the honourable members and the, this August House, the members of this August House, that the pending issue, the pending issue, as already recommended by the Inquiry Commission, government will take action accordingly that that uh, as of now this is the issue where i would like to clarify which is also asked by the hon honorable member from uh, from uh, nongren constituency ba aden basaomoy and relating to cisf the order of the honorable high court sir let me clarify, as far as the performance of the state police force, we are capable enough. We can do it, but I will not talk much about the Honorable High Court ruling. So let us see, but let me assure this August House that our police force are equipped enough to handle things in the state of Meklasa. Let us read out line by line. We should not only read for that portion who committed this, 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 this. 
I think we need to go holistically. Then we will understand the gravity of the case. Why it happened? How it happened? What is going to happen? I think that is the whole idea where we need to. But of course, what, I'm, what I do understand from the honorable members, his concern is whether the government, when they send the operation team, is it for killing or is it for arresting? Surely, sir, it is for arresting. I repeat, since the Mubar is not willing to withdraw his cut motion, I will now put a question before the House. The question is that the cut motion be adopted. Those who are in favor of favor say aye. Those who are against say no.